Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Even HH says, come on now, we are coming, we are coming to that. Look, many of you waited for me last Sunday. You couldn't hear from me. Am I clear? Am I clear? Tell me if I'm clear. Tell me if I'm clear. Many of you waited for me last Sunday. You wanted me to speak last Sunday and I couldn't speak. Someone said, help us with JJ. I spoke to JJ a long time ago. <laughs> I spoke to JJ before JJ was uh, all this thing happened to him. I, I I spoke to him, you know. But problem with politicians is that they think they have arrived. You know, they always think that oh we have arrived. So uh, if he if he listened to me, he wasn't going to be in this mess by now. So I will leave it there. I have something important that I want to tell you. But share the broadcast quickly. I know. This is not the time that I usually come live, but something uh, is very, very important. So the reason why I didn't come live last Sunday is because of uh, two things. Number one, politics, we must understand politics. There is no one that go to politics to serve the people. Please, let's be clear about this. When, you, when we are clear about this, then we are not going to make mistakes. No one goes to politics to serve anybody. People go to serve, people go to politics because they want to benefit. In politics, there is a lot of money. In politics, there is a lot of power. In politics, there is a lot of connection. That's why people fight. There is no way on earth somebody can go to jail because he wants to go to serve the people. No. No one if if uh, politics was about service, people wouldn't be killing each other to take to go into politics, to take over power. If politics was about saving the people, no one would spend billions to, to go and do politics, to go and serve the people. No, it's about investment. When you invest, you eat. When you fight, you eat. Like, for example, a few years ago, it was the people in PF that were eating. So people from UPND, we are fighting. We are fighting that, okay, if we remove these people, we eat. Everybody eats the national cake. That's how it's supposed to be. It's called the national cake. When you go, the people you fight with, you eat the national cake. When your time expires, other people will come and eat the national cake. That is how it is. That is all about politics. So no one must deceive you to say, hey, we are going, we are serving the people. No one will serve the people. Now, this is what happened last Sunday. I couldn't come live. I didn't, uh, I didn't do live. The, the live that I did last time, I did it to test the microphone. See, I'm not a coward. I am the dawn of power. We are not two on earth. We are, we are, you can't find me too on earth. I am one, see your one, the dawn of power. I'm not a coward. When you see I don't go live, or when you see that uh, I'm, I'm supposed to talk, I didn't talk, you must know that something happened. No one, the reason why I went live last Sunday, the other Sunday, was number one. UPND said, we have silenced see your one. Remember that I am a cancer. I am incurable. You know what cancer is? You can, it's incurable. Political cancer. You can, I can't be stopped. No one is going to stop me. No government on earth can stop me. 
I am the dawn of power. I'm not true. Once I tell you that this is how it's going to be, if you want, gather the whole angels in heaven to back you up. What I say is what will happen. So, the reason why I came, I came to test the microphone. I just came to do like this, to see if, <laughs> to show you people that I'm alive. Because people will say, ah, see, one has been silent, see, one has been silent. Remember when I was fighting PF? Sometimes I would go quiet. <laughs> and if you don't want, there is one idiot prophet, one hungry man, Ian, Ian, prophet Ian, that hungry idiot in Zambia there. He used to say, I have silenced here one. I've sent angels to silence him. When he talk again, I will kill him. No, that is politics. It's a, calculate, it's a calculated move. I don't just come and, yeah, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Before I come, I've calculated it. We have calculated it. And I'm sent to go and speak. Now, there we are saying, ah, see, one has been silent. See, one has been silent. I came. I just tested the microphone. Boom, boom, boom. One broadcast. The entire, entire week, it was see, one. Everywhere you go in the bus station, see, one. Everywhere you go on Facebook, see, one. Everywhere you go on 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 TikTok, it was see, one. Everywhere you go on WhatsApp group, it was see, one. I just proved to you people that I cannot be silenced. I am the dawn of power. I control. No one else can control. I do an active politics. I don't do a reactive politics. Even today, this night, if I decide again to tumble the nation, I will do it. I just did that to prove to people that, look, no one can silence me. Somebody can just wake up and like, see a one, see a one, see a one, why, see a one, what? You finish backing like a dog. I still do what I want. <laughs> I control. The first person, the microphone, 11,000 people turned in to watch. Within two days, we are having half a million people that watch the video. The, the last broadcast, the other Sunday, Testing the microphone. Pol politics has not started. I didn't say anything about HH. Those of you that followed me, those of you that watched the broadcast, I didn't say anything about HH. I didn't talk about anything about him. I didn't talk anything personal about him. What I came to tell the people is what they know already. It was a... Uh, what is the name of that uh, criminal? Uh, that lady? Uh... Sivya Masebo. It was Sivya Masebo. And then I spoke about uh, Stanley Kakubu. All this we are in public domain. But with, with that public information, over 14,000 people turned in to watch. If you say Siawan does not have influence, who, who in Zambian politics has such powers? Who has such influence? I just did one broadcast. One. It's not two. Just one, it's not two. Cosway has posted me more than 50 times. <laughs> one broadcast, so I've not started. I haven't exposed HH. I haven't even talked about anything. I just kept, I just kept it somewhere. <laughs> uh, EPP President Chilifia Tyler, how are you, my brother? I hope that you are doing very, very well. So, you know, I just kept it. As I, I haven't spoken that I cannot finish a church if the opposition do not agree with what we have presented to them. That you must know. I, there is no negotiation about that. We are not going to negotiate, bring down, do this, do that. No, I've, we have already, I've already told them, if you want me to fight a church, which I will do, I mean, a person that can sit one place commanding over 14,000 people watching him talking in a nation who has such powers, who can do that? No one can do that. And as we speak today, just on my page, that video has gone to almost 700,000 people that viewed it. 700,000 people that viewed it. Who else can, who can, who else has such powers? Who else has such influence? As a foreigner, 
Say one, you are not a Zambian. I mean, I don't care. I'm an African. I can talk anywhere that I want to talk from. I can say anything that I want to say. I foreigner. 14,000 people turning, watching him speaking about the current affair. It has never happened. Who in Zambia, can, even when the president of Zambia decides to address Nigeria, more than, he won't even have up to 50 people watching him. So you must understand that this thing is something that you must live with. CIA1 already has that influence and power in Zambia, and no one can change it. You cannot go live politically and draw crowd until you mention CIA1. Unless talk anything you want to talk, but once you speak about CIA1, you will get attention. Everybody wants to hear about CIA1. Everybody wants to talk about CIA1. Everybody want to mention C1. That's why last week, everywhere you go, it was C1. The Shipolopolo uh, we are playing football. My broadcast overshadowed everything. So we, when when you were saying uh, C1, we silence C1, we manage C1. Who are you? When I was fighting PF, those guys they were prepared to fight me. They had following. I mean, they were so organized. There were, there were too many pages, uncountable quality pages that would come counter what I, I said. But I defeated them. Then, who is UPN? I mean, Kosway. You, Kosway is the one that will fight me, or watchdog. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I am the dawn of power. You are very lucky people, UPN. You are very, very lucky people. Because the opposition is useless. I've told them what to do. And they are shaking head like a, they are quaking head like if a catfish that came out from the river like this. <laughs> uh, maybe it's too big for them. But if, if, they, if we conclude and they say, see a one, this is it, proceed, I swear. I mean, I spoke about just please one broadcast. See a one, see a one is finished. We have managed here, we have silenced here. One, one broadcast. How many times did the watchdog post about see a one? I did one, I, I kept quiet. How many times did the Kosuwe post about see a one? I, I kept quiet. I didn't even talk about a church. I still have that respect for him. I still has that respect for him. Someone said, you didn't see this coming, sir. All of us, we are too many. I'm not the only person that has been disappointed in this government. We are too many. The Catholics have been disappointed. I, in, in my next broadcast, I will show you my communications. The Catholics, they are disappointed. The, the chiefs in Zambia, there was a chief that... Uh, gave a statement. It's just that I have not started fighting. I have not uh, already started fighting. Sorry, uh, electricity has gone. And uh, many people will start saying, ah, so in Nigeria, electricity goes. Here we are enjoying 16, 16 hours electricity. <laughs> but I'm not saying that Nigeria is better than Zambia. No. Zambia is actually better than Nigeria in time of distance, but uh, in time of leadership, I mean, Zambia is far much better than Nigeria because what we have in Nigeria as our leaders are hardcore criminals. Zambia has criminals, but Nigeria will have hardcore criminals. <laughs> hardcore, you know, there is a difference between criminals and hardcore criminals. So. Our own, we never repent. They are hardcore. They have already sold their life to the devil. So, what I'm trying to say is that mm, there is low shade in Nigeria, of course. There is low shade everywhere, even, even in USA. But we are enjoying 16 hours electricity here. Yeah? It's much better compared to before. You know? So, okay, what am I trying to say? So, I didn't 
say more things about a church. This one, I didn't say anything about him. I didn't. The reason why opposition want to use brain also. <laughs> they, they want to use me. You know, they want to use me. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, but put hand on paper. Because I can't be used again. No one is going to use me again. I've shown my capacity several times. I mean, if someone, a person, a, pol a politician can sit down and gather 13,000 people, not even my president in Nigeria can gather such number. 14,000 people are watching. Campaign has not even started. I have not even done anything. I've not even said anything. You can see what is going to happen when the campaign starts. So I did that live broadcast because they were saying, ah, see, one has been silenced. Please have it at the back of your mind that no one on earth can silence your one. No one, no government on earth can silence your one. That must be at the back of your mind. I am do I am ahead in politics. I am ahead. I have gone far already. That is why when I go quiet now, like now, if I go quiet, I say I'm not going to talk about politics. You will see that there will be sanity. Everywhere will be quiet in Zambia. People can be stealing, people can be looting, people can be doing so many things. In Zambia, no one will talk. But once I come live, there is a problem everywhere. So I hold, I hold that power. I hold that influence. And no one will change it. And no one, we are not even competing. Who am I going to compete with? We are going to send the Russian to silence you. I, maybe let them come. <laughs> I think maybe the Russians are the ones that can do it. Uh -huh. Maybe the Russians can manage, but no one else uh, can silence your one. So I am giving you facts. I, I am giving you facts. I didn't fight a church. And the reason why I didn't fight a church is because the opposition is not yet serious. We are not going to remove a church until we know the person that is taking over. And when you get into power, what is there for us? Politics is business. Politics is investment. While we bring in a good government and the people are enjoying and the people are reaping, the people that did the job must reap. So that's where the problem is. You know, you must come. We agree. This is what is there for us when you win election. And then we'll start fighting. Because we can't just, I now, okay, I come, I tell the people to say, okay, this is what a church is doing. This is this, this is this. We finish all this, thing, then we remove a church. We bring in another person, maybe, for example, Fred member, or Eddie Galungu, or this person, another person comes in. Then tomorrow they will say, ah, I don't know Siawan, I didn't speak with Siawan. <laughs> Why did we agree? Where do we sign? <laughs> huh? So many of you, here today think that say one was not speaking to a church when the when the time come when the time come when everything fails and now we are ready to remove him i will show you you'll be seen for yourself i did, i did, i haven't spoken anything about him and everywhere see you everywhere i don't know how many times they have talked about me and I take my cup of coffee, I'm sipping it, my Coca-Cola, I'm, I'm laughing. The person that they say is finished became a topic the whole week. The whole week. That is powerful psychological game. Powerful psychological game. And the UPND are dancing to the tone. UPND, the, I feel sorry for HH because his people are down. Now, look at this as I conclude. Look at this. I come here in, uh, in, uh, 
here and I'm saying to you, UPND gave a promise that Mili Mew is going to come down to 70 quarter per bag. I said it as here one. Now, look at how UPND respond to me. They are responding to me, not the people. But I'm not going to vote. Mine is to campaign. Mine is to campaign. Mine is uh, to, to talk to the people. Instead of UPND talking to the people, they are talking to me. You can see how easy it is for us to remove these guys out of power. It's very easy. It's very, very, very easy. Now, look at this. UP CR1 says, UPND, during UPND, fuel is expensive. UPND responding to me, there is protest in Nigeria. <laughs> You're not supposed to be addressing me. I am campaigning. You're supposed to be addressing the people. I'm not going to vote. I'm just an influencer that will influence the youth to rise up and make change. I can even influence the youth to protest. That, that is not even... It's not even a, a... You can't even argue with that. Now, CR1... Uh, 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 CR1 is talking. UP, during UPND, milli meal is expensive. 300 per bag. UPND responding to me. CR1, you are not a Zambian. <laughs> you see... Huh? There is no money circulating in the economy. This is what I said. UPND responding to me. Your president is too old. <laughs> eh? <laughs> there is more corruption in UPND than PF. That's why we removed PF. UPND responding to me. See, I want there is protest in your country. Now, you can see how easy it is. These guys don't know politics. You can see how easy it is to remove them from power. Because instead... I have taken over. I have taken the attention of the nation. Now, I am addressing the nation, speaking to the people. Instead of them addressing the nation, they are addressing me. <laughs> you can see, they don't know politics. That's why I feel sorry for HH. HH don't know politics at all. That's why he was in no position to thy kingdom come. Because he doesn't know. Your people, when I come and distract the entire nation, I tell them that UPND has failed, we must remove HH. Instead of them going to the people to tell the people, no, we have not failed. This is what we have done. They respond to me instead of talking to the people. They say to, the, they say to me, see, I want there is protest in Zambia, in Nigeria. Now, they are the ones that are sharing the clip of protests all over the country. They are telling the youths to rise up and protest. Let me tell you this. There is protest in Nigeria because Kenya started protesting. Nigeria copied from Kenya. If Kenya did not start protesting, Nigeria wouldn't protest. Nigerian youths looked at the Kenya and said, if Kenya can do it, we can do it. And now, Look at a, a, a government that is in power. They are the ones that are sharing the videos, the videos of protests all over the country, targeting me. In all the, in all the WhatsApp group, in all their blog, they are posting, there is protest in Nigeria. Very soon, the youth of Zambia will say, ah, if Nigeria can protest, we can also protest. You are the one that is advertising protests in your country, thinking that you are doing CR1. You are doing yourself. Very soon, protest is going to erupt. By the way, things are much better here. Things are much cheaper here than it is in Zambia. A liter of fuel in Nigeria now is at 22 kwacha. How much is a liter of fuel in Zambia? So, youths are being oppressed. I come here, I speak, instead of UPND, to go to the people that I'm talking to and tell them to say, everything is going to be fine. The UPND come to me, the UPND start posting videos of protests, trying to encourage the youth to protest. If they start protesting, don't say I am the one that asked them to protest. So <laughs> Don't mention my name there. Because protest is happening all over the world. Protest is happening all over the world. Protest.
happened everywhere. The, the president of the prime minister of Sri Lanka has been there for two decades in power, more than 20 years. She never believed on earth that one day her people will rise and protest. Kenya was, Kenya was one of the most peaceful countries on earth. They never experienced protests before. But the more you provoke the youths, the more you tell them that they are fools, the more you tell them that they, they, are, they are useless, the more you speak, the more you speak, the more you speak with your action, the more they tell you, this woman is corrupt, remove her. This person is corrupt, remove her. The, the, this person is corrupt. The more, you, the more you play with their brain, one day they will rise. That's why I don't even want to go far because what is happening in Zambia is time bomb. It's time bomb. Any small thing like this, poof, you are going to see war. That's why I don't want... Oh, somebody said there is protest in UK right now. Yes, there is protest all over. I didn't even know that Nigeria can protect you know, things are happening. There is division in Zambia right now. There is division between the Tongas and others. There is division between, between these people and these people. There is massive division that is going on. It's, it's a time bomb. That's why yesterday I was talking with some leaders. I said, what? UPN did not need enemies. They don't need enemies. For HH, let me tell you this. Forget about these uh, people that you have surrounded yourself with that are telling you that everything is okay. They tell you to create enemies. They tell you, ah, we can do it without this person. Please, let me tell you this. There is a problem. There is a big problem. You yourself do a research and find out that the country is divided. I mean, just a small thing like this, bah, a small thing like this, there will be problem. Someone said there is protest in Angola. The youths have waking up. In Malawi, any moment from now, there is going to be a huge protest, massive protest. Protests that can even remove the sitting president. In Malawi, any moments from now. This is not what I want to happen to any leader. This is not what I want to happen to any person. But the more I am trying to educate the UPN, the people. I am trying to give you a chi. Chini Ibeze. So I'm watching you from UK. Papa, pray for me. I okay. I am trying to, to educate you guys, I know you don't know politics. Yeah, you do under five politics. <laughs> under five. <laughs> I I I don't have personal hatred on HH. That's why several times I want to mess him up. I I want to mess him up. Why? Because I don't know the person who is going to be the next president may be worse than him. He may be jumping from frying pan to fire. That's why we need to sit, we talk. Then we tell you, this is what needs to be done. If you agree, not just for me, but for the people of Zambia, the, for the entire Africa, it, it, see, the resources that we have in Africa is too much. Our political criminals in Nigeria here, they are looting the money and they are taking them to Dubai. They are taking them to China. They are taking them to Hong Kong. Now, the political criminals in Zambia are looting the money. They are taking them to China. They are taking them to Hong Kong. They are taking them here. They are taking them here. But listen to this. What if we use that money to develop Africa? Every blessed day, every blessed day, Africa is moving billions upon billions of dollars out of Africa, stealing it and moving it outside the country. That money can develop us. If you have the money stolen from Nigeria, take to Zambia. Zambia would not need to go to IMF. If the money stolen from Zambia is brought to Nigeria, Nigeria would not need the IMF. 
That's why anybody that is coming into power must come in agreement. This is what we need to do. We show you how to rule a nation. <laughs> not by IMF. IMF, World Bank, these guys do not mean anything for Africa. They don't mean anything good for us. They don't. They don't mean anything good for us. So we can actually, that money that is being looted, we can use it. We can use it to develop Africa. So anybody that will be president, before we go deeper in politics, we must agree. There must be an agreement. That's why I didn't go live last Sunday. We have not agreed. Maybe what I presented is too big. But it's not negotiable. If we cannot proceed with it, let the church continue ruling. I mean, I don't, I don't, I have nothing to lose. Whether it's HH ruling, Edgar Lungu ruling, Fred Member ruling, I have nothing to lose. From HH government, I don't get anything. From Edgar Lungu, I don't get anything. From uh, Member, I don't get anything. The only president that came into power and honored me was Mr. Michael Sata. Apart from him, the rest, nothing. So why must I bother myself to remove somebody and, and we bring somebody that is more worth, that we don't know, that we don't have an agreement with? So that's why I couldn't come live. The other life I came to, I mean, the, the last time I did a live broadcast, I was testing the microphone poo, 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 to see if I still have influence or not. 11,000 people watched. The previous Sunday, the last Sunday, 14,000 people, 14,000 people turned in to watch. Now, as we speak, just on my page alone, it has reached over 700,000 people that have watched that message. Tell me who in Zambia can pull those numbers. I've seen some useless names that people mention here. No, this person say I silence you. I mean... <laughs> Have you seen a rat silencing a, a, a lion before? We are talking about numbers here. We are talking about if I don't talk, or for example, I say, okay, I'm quiet. I'm not doing politics. They won't talk. They won't have anything to say. You can, okay, go to, go and bring a broadcast and talk about yourself. No one will listen. But once you mention, I want to talk about CR1, the entire nation will turn in because CR1 is power. CR1 is mighty. CR1 is the dawn of power. CR1 is everyone want to talk about him. That is what is called power. That is what is called influence. If you don't mention me, no one is going to watch you. If you don't, you can, you can, you can. Mention Eddie Galung, no one will watch you. Mention HH, no one will watch you. But mention CR1, the entire nation want to hear. What kind of man is this? <laughs> That's what is called power. That's what is called influence. <laughs> huh? So when I talk, I go and sit down. And then crayfish and the rats, <laughs> cockroaches. <laughs> it's influence it's influence <laughs>all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go